Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby. If you're new and if you're returning, it's nice to see you again. Today's video is going to be my evening routine and I actually just did my full evening routine. Hence why I am no makeup and my hair is still wet and my glasses are on. So I wanted to follow up my morning routine video with my evening routine video because I think they're both really, really helpful and just like feeling centered and structured in your life. And like I said in my morning routine video, it just gives you a sense of confidence and accountability to yourself when you have a structured regimen and routine so without further ado let's go ahead and get into my evening routine so I have to say while being in quarantine I have been quite the grandma I literally start getting ready for bed around 8 30 or 9 and I try to be asleep by 11 or 12 I am quite the night out so it is tough for me to fall asleep sometimes but I make it a goal to at least be in bed and uh, attempt to fall asleep if I can. So I usually finish eating dinner around 7.30 and then I will stop eating around 8 because like I said, I do intermittent fasting and I usually don't eat from about 8 till noon the next day, which is a 16 hour interval. So after I make my dinner, I will usually come upstairs and then I will take a shower. So when I get into the shower, I like it to be really, really hot because I think it like helps calm me down and be like zen and warm at night. Um, in the shower, I will usually wash my face. I don't wash my hair every time I take a shower, but I did today because I just got home from the gym and I was sweaty from the sauna. So I'll go ahead and wash my hair and wash my face. And then I just like to take my time. Sometimes I exfoliate my body with Epsom salt and I just let this be a relaxing time for me to chill out. So after I get out of the shower, I will usually start to brush my hair. And today I put in this like green detangler. So after I brush my hair, I usually put it back up in a towel because it's pretty wet still. So after I get out of the shower, I will make sure to moisturize my body. The moisturizer that I use is just a plain CeraVe lotion. I find this uh, lotion to be very hydrating and thick and creamy, which I really, really like when I'm going to bed. I like to be moisturized everywhere. So after I moisturize my body, I will brush my teeth. Then take my hair out of a towel and I like to put argan oil and coconut oil in my hair. I do have extensions so I have to make sure my hair is super hydrated and this just helps kind of keep it cohesive and now it's really soft and smooth and it feels so good. moisturize my hair I use a few different products um, on my face right now I really like Versed um, Versed is a skincare company and they have a lot of amazing products they are cruelty free vegan um, they have no paraben and they just don't have all the bad stuff in it that we don't need in our life so I like to use right now I like the brightening eye cream under my eyes I specifically right now my allergies are really bad so I've been getting really dark circles under my eyes so I like to use that at night. Then I was prescribed a retinol cream from my dermatologist just because I've been getting breakouts on my chin and it really just kind of like dries your skin out in a good way. But you only use about a dime size um, and then you spread it out all over your face. And I follow that up with another Versed product, which is the moisturizing cream. Just because the retinol can dry out your face, you want to lather it with an additional moisturizing cream so you're, you don't wake up like with your skin super dehydrated.
after I do my facial skincare and brush my teeth, get my hair oils in, I will come back into my room. And I love to use essential oils at night. My personal favorites are lavender and I don't know how to pronounce this next one. It's like Fran France something Trinity. Anyways, it's from An Ancient Nutrition and they are my favorite company to use essential oils. I have a whole book that they wrote all about the essential oils and I just feel like they're a super trusted brand for me. So then I will put the essential oils on my wrist, behind my ears, um, a little bit on my chest and neck and then I kind of just like to smell it off my wrist. I use a mix of the, of the lavender and the one that I can't pronounce. So then after I put on my essential oils, you know I have to set the vibes of my room like we do in the morning too. So again, I will put on a nighttime nature 4K video. I will light a candle and I just burnt a new candle. I'm super excited about it. I think it's just a Bath and Body Works one, but here it is. Also, I just did this new collage on my wall. That's like my favorite thing to do is to rearrange my room and um, I got really creative with this one and I cut up a magazine that I had and made this little chic fashion collage. Um, I keep almost flashing you guys. So then I will light a candle, I will turn on my nature 4K video, then I have these beautiful string lights that I have over my windows, so I will turn those on, and between the mix of the ambiance of the candle and the lights, it just like gets me into a nighttime zone, makes me feel really calm and relaxed, and at this point I am almost ready to get into bed. So after I set the vibes of my room, I also take a few different supplements. And just a little disclaimer, this is just what I do. I'm not a doctor. This is just what works for me. So I take magnesium. Uh, I take magnesium just because I have really restless legs from all of my injuries as an uh, athlete my whole life. And then I also take a multivitamin 5-in-1. I drank this past weekend, so I take a milk thistle uh, supplement. Milk thistle is just really good for detoxifying your liver. And then I also take a probiotic. And these are just like two little gummies. Again, I will link all these products in the description box below. So if you're interested, you can just go ahead and check them out and purchase them through the link. After I take my nightly supplements, I will go ahead and get into my PJs. Right now, I have been obsessed with the Calvin Klein men's underwear and I wear these as boy shorts and they're super comfortable. It's not like you're wearing underwear that like is going up your butt <laughs> because I hate that when I'm trying to sleep. I want to be like in a big t-shirt and boy shorts. Um, sometimes I do have these cute little PJ sets I got from Target so sometimes I'll wear those but normally I put on a pair of boy shorts and a big t-shirt. It's like my go-to. So after I get my PJs on I will go ahead and grab my notebook and my journal. So you guys know I love to journal and you don't have to be an obsessive journaling person as me but I just think it's really helpful for my own self because my brain goes a million miles per minute and I just need to get all my thoughts out on paper so after I set the vibes in my room I will grab my beautiful pack of pens and my notebook and I will hop into bed I will also grab a book that I am reading which right now I'm reading what doesn't kill us by Scott Carney super interesting book I'm halfway through um, but I'll talk about that book another time so then I'll hop into bed and I will usually just journal one to two pages of whatever's on my mind um, I kind of like to just write like current events, what I did that day, or if I have something I'm thinking about or going through, I can jot that down. During this time, I also like to jot down anything that I have to do uh, for the next day. Sometimes I will write um, my schedule down for the next day in my planner or in my notes on my phone. Just depends on how I'm feeling that day. And then after I do my journaling, I will read for 15 minutes-ish 
So I'm really trying to work on reading more and just having my books next to my bed makes this really easy and accessible. Reading also is a good way to not watch TV and still be entertained. And I think it's really calming and peaceful. So I highly suggest you getting a good book you like. I will attach what I'm reading all in the description box below. So also before I go to bed, I make sure to turn my phone on do not disturb and I will go ahead and set my alarm for the next day. So at this point, I am pretty much ready for bed. I will go ahead and turn off my lights and try to close my eyes and get some sleep. Just a reminder, I will link all of the products that I'm talking about in the description box below, so if you would like to check them out, you can do so. But at this point, I think I am ready for bed and literally ready for bed right now. I'm gonna hop in bed after I get done filming this and try to get some sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed my quick and efficient evening routine to get you ready for a beautiful night of sleep. Let me know in the comments something that you do in your evening routine and maybe something that I should try out. I would love to hear from you and make sure to be following my fitness Instagram at Gabrielle Adrian Fit and my normal Instagram at Gabby underscore Adrian. Thank you guys so much for watching my evening routine and I'm gonna go ahead and get into bed and I will see you on the next video.